everybody, this is Ranger Ann from Myrtle Beach State Park and today's craft is just, it's really simple and we use a lot of cardboard and yarn and paint. And so we love animals here at Myrtle Beach State Park, but you can make any type of creation you want. But we did, you know, stingrays and butterflies and raccoons and snakes and jellyfish and sea turtles and sea stars and fish. And so we're just gonna, you can do whatever you want and we'll talk you through it. Okay, we're gonna use cardboard to make our creations, but if you don't have hard stock cardboard, you could also use cereal boxes or shoe boxes. We'll use yarn, but you could also use ribbon or twine or shirts or plastic bags. There's an endless variety that you probably have in your house that you could use. To decorate, we're gonna use bottle caps, but again, you could use beads or buttons, bags, fabric, googly eyes. There's so many things you probably have in your house that you could decorate with. We're gonna use paint, but you could also use markers or crayons. We will also use hot glue gun today, so always be careful with that. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you could probably use Elmer's. It'll just take a lot longer to dry. Either way, look in your house, find supplies, and go have some fun. So I made a bonnet head, which is a, a small type of shark related to hammerheads that we sometimes catch off the fishing pier. And I'm just gonna paint. And again, you can use whatever you want, any design you want, let your creativity run wild. Now that the shark is dry, I'm gonna take yarn and I'm gonna wrap around. I'm gonna try to make it where, make it secure that I don't have to worry about holding it and then start wrapping. Now that I put the string on, I'm going to decorate it and I'm going to use bottle caps. I've kind of laid out how I want to do it and I'm going to use hot glue gun. And so be, be very careful that you don't burn yourself. But bonnet heads lend themselves to have eyes on the side of their head. And so I'm going to use googly eyes and some fun colors for my eyes. And I'll glue them on right there. And then I kind of have googly eyes because this is going to make it so cute. Everything looks cuter with googly eyes. That's so awesome. And then I'm just gonna start laying them out. So here's my final creation of my bonnet head, and I absolutely adore my googly eyes. I think they look really cute. I would love to see all your fun creations. I imagine everything you found in your house will be lots of animals and shapes and flowers and things, so we would love to see them, so please post them.